Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at motion control. We are going to set Daisy on stage here up in a way that we can move her around and help her escape the evil UFO. I'll go to the library tab and pick up the DMX mover and drag and drop this near Daisy. As you can see, the DMX mover looks like three axes, and these are the axes that we can move Daisy around. By default, these are one meter long, which means that she could move one meter in either direction. In order to adjust that, I'll go to the Design tab, the Selected Items, and scroll down to the bottom where the X, Y, and Z range properties are. Let's give Daisy 5 by 5 by 5 meters to move around. The DMX mover can actually be placed anywhere, but it is convenient to have it close to the object it is controlling. Now let's associate Daisy with the DMX mover. I do that by selecting Daisy, going to the selected items properties, and setting the motion fixture. If you have many motion fixtures, it's a good idea to give them different names, as in this case, there is no name for the DMX mover, but there's only one, so that's fine at the moment. We are now ready to start moving Daisy around. I will do that by selecting the mover and opening the control pane. We now have separate sliders where we can control the X, Y, which is clearly wrong, and the Z coordinates. Now that Daisy is safe, let's take a look at the other motion control possibility, rotation. You can find in the library, just next to the DMX mover, the DMX rotator. Let's see if we can take the saucer for a spin. I'll move the rotator and place it right above the flying saucer. Now in this point, it is important to have the center of the DMX rotator at the center of the rotation. Also, remembering my previous words, I will give this a name, so I will call this the spinner. And now let's select the UFO and associate it with the new DMX rotator. Now that I select the rotator, you will see in the control pane there is another slider called rotation. This controls the rotation of the UFO. Now I made a mistake here in only selecting the UFO. I also wanted to select the lighting fixture that I have placed inside it. So let's select the UFO and the lighting fixture and reassociate it with the DMX rotator. Now when we adjust the angle property, you will see the beam following the UFO. It is also possible to chain the mover together with a rotator and vice versa and construct complex animations and movements by combining rotations and movements together. Thanks for watching. See you soon again.